What's going on, everybody? Uh, we're back here in some more leggings. So, today I wanted to talk about a topic that, that I actually wanted to go over. So, I actually have gotten inspiration for this video from uh, Mr. Trojan, actually. Uh, if you guys know who he is, um, then you guys should know the topic I'm about to talk about. So, back, oh, I, I would have to say maybe back in early 16, 17 era, um, the MX Bikes demo was a free uh, beta demo, actually. It was a very early stages. At the time, it was a uh, MX simulator that was dominating uh, the moto gaming scene, and then uh, MX bikes came through, and people saw potential for it. Uh, people made a couple of videos on it, and then about maybe a year later, if I remember, it was Winham 151 was the first person to actually ever upload a video on the updates for MX Bikes. Uh, so I, I guess he was kind of the a pioneer, that you would say, for MX, bike, MX Bikes uh, heyday back then. So, and then all of a sudden, you know, like a year later, six months to a year later mx bike started to, to gain more ground and then all of a sudden mx simulator started you know getting crushed by you know, hackers and cheaters and all that sort of stuff so um fast forward to maybe seven years later and mx bikes is it's still in a great state but it's still or it's still in a a weird state, but it's thriving, and um, that's the game I wanted to talk about. So, uh, if I, when everybody, um, well, when I specifically, I've always claimed that I want a PC, uh, there's only one reason for that, which is MX Bikes. American Truck Syndicate. Those two games right there specifically are the only reason why I want to go to PC. Um, because of, uh, of those games. And somewhat the aisle, but uh, I'm not much into dino games that I am out of trucking. So, um, so if you know who uh, Trojan is, um, he started off on MX, uh, Legends here, um, came through and uh, then went over to MX Bikes, and I want to kind of do the same thing, the same thing, but on the PC, and um, it's hard uh, to get a PC, especially if you want to get gaming piece. So, um, he talked about the idea about MX Bikes coming to console. Now, this is not unheard of for, you know, PC games coming over to console, uh, because you have games like Mud Runner, Snow Burner, uh, Descenders, uh, Session, Pipe, uh, Skater XL, um, and a couple of other games, and they all have mod support. So, what he explained was that it could be a chance that MX Bikes could come over to console, but not have mod support. Uh, now, if you are somebody who actually keeps up with the MX Bikes community or something like that. You know the game's creator is not as invested uh, in the game as much as he should be. Um, 
especially for how much the game is actually thriving. Um, and the game was modless. There was no mods installed. Uh, nothing. It was just the, the base default game. Now, for a lot of people, uh, a lot of people know that a lot of us console players don't have the money, time, or, you know, just have access to a PC to play these types of games. Um, and, you know, console is a way that console is becoming into that generation where it's becoming almost as powerful as a PC mod. Uh, almost, just about. But, um, I think this is something interesting. I think this is something that should be uh, worked on. Um, if people from the community, you know, in MX Bikes, you know, I'll push it out there, you know, because, you know, if they want to make the community bigger and stronger, you know, console is one of the best ways. Because uh, not all of us, again, have PCs and, and everything. So, I do like Legends. Uh, Legends is a decent game for what it is. There's definitely still some things that need to be worked on. Um, I have explained these before, that there's still a lot of things that this game uh, needs improvements on, uh, such as the, the physics, even though the physics feel as good as they do, they're still inconsistent, uh, they're still, they're still clutch boost dependent, um, and the, this game is very arcade -y. Now, I've been itching for a new Bardo game for a while, and MX Bikes is actually one of those games that I actually want to invest time in. Um, but just right now, I just don't have the money or resources to be able to play. Um, and if, you know, if MX Bikes could come over to consoles, uh, it will save a lot of people a lot of time and a lot of money uh, to be able to play in games. Um, especially just trying to get a PC. Like, uh, I, I've heard of some console guys specifically going over the PC just for one game, with, which could be, you know, Daisy for mods, or it could be uh, for Arma. Or you know, just you know, just simple games, simulator games. Actually, um, I've heard people online uh, talk about I, that they never wanted to go PC. They always wanted to stay console, but the only reason why they went was because of a, a game that they wanted to play didn't have a console. Now, to be quite fair to you all. Uh, console companies, Sony and, you know, they are greedy companies, uh, I will explain, uh, they are greedy companies, they don't, they develop for, you know, their own purposes, but they don't develop for, for, you know, for the best interest for consoles. I really do think that consoles could surpass their limits uh, for what they are now. But the question is, like, will they? Um, or is it just always involving money? Um, so that's something that could be uh, talked about or, you know, or at least explained to Mohan. But um, this is a message out to the MX Price community. Uh, Boso, or you know, somebody who's involved uh, heavily in the community. Uh, if you end up seeing this video, you know, um, don't try to exclude the fact that you know, MX Bikes could become a part of uh, consoles, and I think that's definitely a significant sign that it should. 
uh, for how big the community is and how it can be bigger with just uh, with just console players. Because I was told that console players, if this, if MX Sparks went to console, um, a lot of console players would like the game, um, myself included. Um, as I said, I I did play MX Bikes a long time ago. It's a free uh, beta demo, and uh, it was still in the rough stages of that game. But uh, it was a really fun game. Uh, I put like 50 hours into it uh, at that time. It was really fun. Um, but I just always hated the fact that. You know, it's always PC. It's always PC that has the fun games, that has the, you know, <laughs> all the better games, I should say. But, um, I think that's about it for this video. Um, let me go, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, I'm actually very curious about what you guys have to, have to say about this, what you guys think about this. Uh, could this something be worth looking into, uh, could it very much be possible that, um, if it happened, um, and make it, uh, cross-gen compatible, too, uh, so, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, give it a like and subscribe, and, uh, I'll see you in the next one, see ya. I don't care. That's a wrap!